Hey guys, and welcome back to another Yokai Watch unboxing video. And today we're checking out the brand new, just recently released in Japan, Yokai Watch Elda from Yokai Watch Shadow Side. That's right, guys, the new merchandise is finally here. And today we're gonna check this out. So, I've been anticipating this thing for a super long time, and it's finally in my hands. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of the Shadow Side stuff. And if you've never heard about it, this is essentially the next series, the continuation of Yokai Watch. We had Yokai Watch 3, Yokai Watch Busters, but now, many years later, Yokai Watch Shadow Side is here. And the whole gimmick with this device is every Yokai has a light side and a dark side. And well, we'll go into that in a little bit, but uh, oh my gosh, I love the new character designs and artwork. And it comes with Japan! I'm obviously going to be very excited about that, but uh, Here's a quick view of the packaging. We have artwork of the light side form of Jibanyan, and then over here we have his dark side variant. There's the Yokai Junior, which is Jibanyan's son, and we have Mizu, which is a sort of form of Slime Amander, and his shadow side as well. But as cool as the box art is on these things, I'm infinitely more excited for what's inside. So let's crack it open. <gasps> oh wow, that, that came out literally instantly. <laughs> what the crud, how about that? Wow, that was a kind of anticlimactic, I gotta say. So we got the instructions, we got this uh, piece of artwork which has like Shadow Side, Blazion, and Blazari on it, which is pretty cool. As well as Whisper 2040. He he's look he's looking a little creepy, alright, but uh that aside, here is the main attraction. Oh my gosh, the Yokai Watch Elda. And after removing it from the packaging and inserting some batteries, this is the new Yokai Watch. I gotta say. It looks really, really cool. Just like in the show, it has these like sort of panels on it and it's pure white, just like the original Yokai watch that Nate got in the series before he got his Model Zero. So I think that's a cool callback, but along with the watch, you also get this thing, which no is not a Yokai watch medal, but instead, if I can figure out how to open this, the medal for this series isn't a medal at all. In fact, it's an arc. If we zoom in on this arc, you'll notice that has some striking similarities to the Yokai Watch Dream Medals that came before this. However, unlike Yokai Medals, this is pretty big. It pretty much resembles a key, actually, and even has like a little part where you can put a keychain on top of it. However, the box art uh, <laughs> advertises that this is a Neo Yokai ship and has like some NFC capabilities inside of it. And also, when you turn a yokai arc around, you're gonna notice there's a different illustration, this time for Shadow Side Jabanyan. Light side! Dark side! Light side! Dark side! <laughs> you get the picture, hopefully. So now that we've seen the yokai arc, let's closely examine the yokai watch, Elder. And I gotta say, I love this design a lot. It is really, really cool, if not a little bit fat, like it's a really, really big watch even compared to the Yokai Watch Dream. But uh, once we power it on, you're gonna notice why it is so big. big. Uh, I thought there'd be a little more to that actually, but the sound effects in this one are infinitely better than the Yokai Watch Dream. And if we hold down this button, ooh, we get to hear some very, uh, ominous tones, but uh, there's more to it than just that. The key mechanic of this toy is actually in form of the Yokai Arcs, which have new technology that lets the watch know what rarity the arc is and what tribe the Yokai that you're trying to summon. So by inserting the arc like a key into a keyhole, like so, and then turning it to either the left or the right, you can unlock a yokai's shadow side or light side. So let's go with the left side first. Oh crud. And then you take the arc out and place down the yokai to summon it. And the yokai will display its name and more or less be summoned, but 
Once you insert the arc, you start to notice some of the finer parts of the watch. For the first time ever, you can actually see the inside of a yokai watch, and I gotta say, the, like, clock hand right there, and all the gears and stuff, and the gold, oh my gosh, it's so stinking cool. I mean, I love watches, and I love the yokai watch designs. I just think it's kind of cool they started to remove some of the colors the old generation of watches had for their own sort of idea they got going on here, but, uh, let's, let's summon another yokai. Last time we summoned Jabanyan's shadow side, so this time let's reinsert the arc, but try the other direction and see what happens. Now, but that was the summoning song for the light form of Jabanyan. And I gotta say, this is a really impressive watch. My really only minor complaint is closing it is kind of annoying. You have to do the left side and then the right side. If you do it the other way, it gets stuck. But a pretty simple toy, I want to say. But there are some other kind of tricks it has up its sleeve that have not been revealed yet. Since you only get the one yokai arc with your box. But a mechanic that was brought over from the Yokai Watch Dream is if you hold down the search function button, like we did prior, and hold any arc close to the watch. The Yokai Watch will detect that there is a Yokai nearby, just like before it uses NFC technology similar to a Nintendo Amiibo to detect, hey, there's a Yokai nearby. However, in this mode, the watch does not know if you're putting the light side or the shadow side up in front of it. So if we put the shadow side, it'll just think, okay, it's a Jabanyan medal because the device does not have enough data to tell whether or not. To do that, you have to actually insert the arc into the watch. But yeah, I gotta say, this is a really, really cool device. As far as the fit on the wrist, I gotta say, it is just about as heavy as the Yokai Watch Dream. I was a little worried they were gonna have to like make it super stinking heavy because the Yokai Watch Dream just had so much stuff crammed inside of it, but uh, not bad. You know, you can just have it on your left hand and insert the Yokai Arc with your right. It's a pretty cool toy. I'm a little bit saddened by the fact that it doesn't have an SD card slot, but uh, since this is just the first watch for the series, well, <laughs> first and a half, I guess. I guess that's a little bit forgivable, but yeah, guys, believe it or not, that is our review of the Yokai Watch Dream. It's a relatively simple toy. I think they're starting things a little bit on the sort of safe side going forward. You'll notice even the strap is like kind of just a recycled one from one of the previous power-up kits for the Yokai Watch Dream, but outside of that, it is a really cool device in the show. I like the fact that all of the Yokai arcs, instead of medals this time, are compatible with Nintendo Switch hardware as they're advertising because this will most likely be the watch introduced in Yokai Watch 4 for Nintendo Switch that is currently in development. So I wanted to get my hands on it as quickly as I could. This month actually marks the fifth year anniversary for Yokai Watch in Japan. So to see where the series is evolving and keeping to its roots, I gotta say, I'm a big fan and I really am excited to see what this thing can do in the future. So. In the next unboxing video, we're going to be cracking open some Yokai Watch Shadow Side arcs. That's right, baby. I'm back. And I'm super excited to open these up, so make sure not to miss that. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like because it helps me out an absolute ton. And yeah, guys, I'm going to go I'm going to go find some Yokai, my Yokai Watch Elder. So, see you guys next time. Bye.